Hello and welcome to episode one of the Dragon and the Princess series. There'll be more episodes to come and there are other series on my channel as well. And if you're after adult content or you just want to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon down below. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. I love hearing from you. And as always, I hope you enjoy. Do you think that you are sneaky? That you are silent and slick? Do you think I haven't noticed you scurrying around in here, little mouse? Hmm? You don't think I'm stupid, do you? I am old. Very old. But I am not stupid. And my senses are as sharp as ever. So you may as well come out of the shadows to where I can see you. Come out. It wasn't a suggestion. Hmm. Your chin raised so high. Humans do that when they're trying to be brave, don't they? Make themselves tall. Though you would have to be brave to come hiding in here. Scurrying around for days. But then again, perhaps you are the stupid one. Which one isn't? Brave or stupid? Perhaps a bit of both. <laughs> I like that answer. Eat you. Why would I eat you? Would you go and eat any little mouse that you found running around your little house? Would you eat a cockroach that you came across? No. So why would I eat you? Mm. I am intrigued by you. Like I said, I am old. I have seen most things, heard stories about the rest. Humans usually seek out a dragon to steal from them, or to kill them for glory. You've done neither. All of my treasures are untouched. I would know if you had touched them. You've just been pattering about on your soft little feet, thinking you've gone unnoticed. So then why have you come here? Speak up. If you're brave, then be brave. Protection? Why would I protect you? You are nothing but a speck of dust to me. You are a pest in my walls. You are a sheep that has been separated from their flock. Hmm. You separated yourself, did you? Why? You do not smell like the humans that live in the small houses with the grass roofs. They smell of hard work and sunshine. You smell of stone and shadows. Where have you come from, Mouse? What shape was your little house? Was it castle-shaped? Hmm. Yes, that's what that smell is. If there's one thing I know, it's treasure. It's rarities. 
specialties. You smell of finery. You smell unique. All that dirt on you is only surface level. The humans in the small houses, they have dirt so deep it's in their bones. Why do you run from finery, mouse? Don't you like living in such a fine little house? From what I've seen, your humans are the ones with food. The ones who are fat and happy. Lazy humans. Powerful humans. They wanted you to marry. Marry. This is bonding for humans, yes? A love contract made law. And you disagreed. Why? I'm curious. You're something new, something interesting. I want to know. You did not love them. Oh, I know this story. You love another. Isn't that right? No. You do not love another. <laughs> ah, so you want options. Is that it? Humans love the idea of freedom. Little mouse, you keep surprising me. You do not want to marry anyone. Contract or no, humans take mates like everything else on this earth, rolling around together as if they're the only ones to ever have the idea. Don't you want that, little mouse? Hmm. You don't want that either. You are telling the truth, aren't you? Curious. A human who does not want these things. Are you sure? Isn't that what all your stories and songs are about? <laughs> I like that answer too. You want a different sort of song. Well, what a pretty turn of phrase. I still don't see why I should let you live in my house, mouse. Your kind of trap, mice. You sweep out the insects. Why should I let your soft little feet patter here and there? What can you offer me? I have gold and jewels already. What do you have to interest me? You have stories, do you? I have heard them all. I wrote some of them. Hmm. That is true, I had not heard one like yours before. And do you have others hidden in your pockets? More stories and songs that I haven't heard? And what, you give me your stories, your words, your pretty turns of phrases? And you can live here in my house. But you are a high-ranking human, yes. One of the lazy, powerful ones. And if armies come looking for you, hunting me down, thinking I stole you away like the idiot dragons of the south seem to enjoy doing, then you would leave. Would you, Mouse? Why? So that I was not hurt because of you. You are a new thing, aren't you? 
a wild, unique thing. You've proven that, at least. This encounter did not go as I foresaw. And things almost always go how I foresee them to. But you have just proven that your songs are different, I suppose. <sighs> Tell me, fancy mouse who smells of finery. Can you even take care of yourself? Can little soft things like you hunt? <laughs> You might be able to tell stories, but you cannot lie. <sighs> I am thinking. I am thinking that yes, it might be worth it. Worth the risk of armies throwing their sharp little sticks at me. If I send you away, my curiosity will gnaw at the edges of my mind. It would be even more annoying than the sound of your scurrying. For now then, you can stay in my house, mouse. And in return, you can tell me stories and sing me songs. New ones. But I do not think you can hunt with your soft pitter-patter feet and your blunt little hands. No claws, no fangs. Humans really are strange. Here. Take what you want from this deer. I only ate half of it earlier. You must cook it, mustn't you? That's what humans do. Seems backwards to me, but the fire is there and it will be entertaining to watch at any rate. What? Speak up. You are talking too quietly again. Hmm. You are welcome, Mouse. You are welcome. <laughs> 